Hi, welcome back to Golf Training Hacks. Making solid contact, that's so important. Getting back to contact consistently and making solid contact really is everything in the golf swing. Let's face it, if you can't get back to impact consistently and you can't make solid contact, really nothing else matters. That's why so many YouTube videos focus on helping you making solid contact. And that's why so many teaching pros and the lessons they give focus on impact consistency and making solid contact. It really is everything in the golf swing. So let's talk about how we can make those lessons and those fixes that you can find on YouTube more effective for you. And we're going to talk about two things. What does it take to get back to impact so that you can make solid contact? Well, there are two areas. First, your hips need to control and your lower body, your hips and your lower body need to control the rotational force in the golf swing. Now the rotational forces are very high and there's a lot of force. So if you can't keep your hips stable and compressed into the shot throughout most of that swing, it's going to be really tough to get back to impact consistently and make solid contact. The second thing is the bottom of the swing arc is not at the ball, it's ahead of the ball. And that means that you're making contact first with the ball and then the divot is ahead of the ball. That's so important. So those are two areas. Now what we mean by this is that controlling rotational force in the golf swing, there are several areas that you really have to think about in terms of your hips and lower body. So as you take the club away, your, your belt buckle moves behind the ball just a bit. Now as you come uh, through your downswing and into impact, right, your belt buckle is moving forward because you're shifting your weight forward. But as this weight shift occurs, this hip is extending backwards and rotating, and now you're in a position something like this. So the belt buckle is ahead of the ball. And you're also staying compressed into the shot until you're in this position when at impact, you're starting to extend and get that power from the ground. A great place to look at this is Roy McIlroy's swing, obviously one of the best swings in the world. Take a look at that swing in slow motion, super slow motion. What you're going to see is that his hips are extremely stable. The weight shift comes back, the belt buck goes back, the hips are stable, compressed into the shot. As he's coming into his maximum lag point, which is roughly where uh, the uh, club is parallel to the ground, now we're into this rotation. We're starting this movement with, your hip, with his hips backwards in the rotation, but the belt buckle has now moved ahead of the ball. Now, as he, as he makes contact, here's the key. The bottom of your swing arc cannot be at the ball. The bottom of the swing arc has to be ahead of the ball because that's the only way you're going to be able to get impact with a contact at the ball first and then a divot ahead of the ball. That's the key. So if you look at Rory's swing, as he's at impact, his, his belt buckle is ahead of the ball, he still has shaft lean, and he's rotated, and he's extended backwards. So there's the timing, right? You can't extend too soon, right? It has to be timed correctly. But here's, here's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the belt, his belt buckle. Clearly, the bottom of the swing arc is not at the ball. If you drew a straight line from the belt buckle, the bottom of the swing arc is ahead of the ball, and that's how you get the divot ahead of the ball. But if you stand up too soon, clearly that's not going to work, right? Even if, even if I'm in this position, but I've, I've extended you know, too soon, then I'm going to be on top of the ball, and that's not going to be a solid impact point. And clearly, you know, if, you, if you're just using your arms and you're not rotating through it, then you know, you're going to be hitting behind the ball. So it's really important that your hips control the rotational force, you stay compressed, you time and sequence the rotation right so that this movement occurs correctly so that the bottom of the swing arc will end up ahead of the ball and not behind the ball. Uh, that's critically important. That's why at Golf Training Hacks, we focus so much on hip stability, hip strength, and hip mobility. Because without that, it's really tough to make the swing fixes that you learn from your golf pro or on a YouTube video effective. You know, if you just can't stay in the shot, if you're extending too early, if you can't time it right, the sequencing is off, well, 
it's really tough to get back to impact consistently and make solid impact. So if you found that helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And don't forget, check out other videos on the channel to help you improve your movement quality and keep that youthful fluid swing while staying injury free.